don't talk anymore. <laughs> Priscilla Presley is opening up about her most devastating personal losses. The businesswoman got emotional in a new talk TV interview with Piers Morgan that aired on November 2nd, getting overcome when reflecting on the unexpected deaths of not only her daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, but also her grandson, Benjamin Keough. It is, it was unbearable, you know. I lost my mother, I lost my grandson, and I lost my daughter. And um, losing Ben was, 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 that was the hardest thing for her. Lisa Marie died in January at just 54 years old, and Priscilla reflected on the tragedy, sharing how the singer had complained of abdominal pain just two days earlier on what ended up being their last night together after that year's Golden Globe Awards. The 78-year-old went on to explain how Lisa Marie struggled with the aftermath of Ben's passing in 2020. The 27-year-old sadly took his own life, and Priscilla said she believed the grief may have been too much for Lisa Marie. He was the love of her life. That child, she adored him. She would do anything for him, anything. And um, we were in Memphis, we were sitting up in the suite, and she said, Mom, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I want to be here. And I go, what are you talking about? You know, like Ben. And she'd go on about Ben and how she is still grieving. And this was a couple of months before. She was feeling almost suicidal herself. I think so. It's so sad. Mm -hmm. I know. Don't talk anymore. <laughs> Lisa Marie's cause of death was later confirmed to be complications from a small bowel obstruction. She had passed away shortly after being rushed to the hospital. Handling the artist's estate caused reported tension between Priscilla and her granddaughter, Riley Keough, who Lisa Marie had previously named the sole trustee, which was unbeknownst to Priscilla until after Lisa Marie died. The pair reached a settlement in May, and Priscilla said that her and Riley's relationship remained on solid ground throughout the challenging process, telling Talk TV, I love her. We have always gotten along. It was a little bit of trying to figure out the will like you normally do, but Riley and I have always been close.